Okay. Um, first of all, hello. Welcome. I'm Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Aziza presenting for Gourmet Pens at Gourmet Pens Industries, which is right here. Um, today, I have a very beautiful pen. Now, I have shown in the past this pen and I really like this particular model and I was chit-chatting with the kind folks at Pen Chalet and you know I was just thinking what can I show you that's really fun and is one of my preferred pens and has a lot of really nice features. I'll tell you what it's this! <laughs> okay this is the Platinum 3776 Century. This is the Bourgogne finish with gold trim. Now it is um, slightly translucent so you can actually see the nib through it and I really love that. You can see the converter but the material is really dark, very warm, very rich. It's a very elegant classy pen. However, it gets even better. It's okay. You won't be able to see it but when we go down to the desk I'll show you in more detail. Um, I have the coarse nib. So this is a 14 karat double broad. Now in North America, if you order the double broad, you're gonna get a coarse. So what we have with the coarse is just a big, delicious round blob of tipping. It's just like, it is the juiciest piece of tipping ever. It's really nice. And it is a beautiful nib and a beautiful piece of tipping for just fun daily writing for writing to people that you know you you really love them but you can't write 10 pages so you're like I want to write you a really pretty letter so you use this kind of nib um, hand lettering calligraphy all sorts of things and last but not least it is a beautiful piece of tipping for modifications so it's got a lot of good stuff going on with it but I want to show you like the intimates of the pen Hmm. Um, because there's a couple features of it that I really like and I think it'll be best if we're like up close and personal. So let's go do that. Thank you to Pen Chalet who are one of my sponsors for providing this pen for me so I can shoot all these awesome writing samples. Okay, I think they're awesome. But shoot these writing samples and show off this nib for you so that you can expand your serious nibbage repertoire. And at the end of the video and in the description, there is a discount code for 10% off at Pen Chalet. And I think you might like this pretty thing. So let's go over there and take a look at this pen downstairs. <laughs> okay, so we're going to look at the intimate parts of this pen. Uh, the intimate parts are, <laughs> um, well, they're under the cap, first of all, but just look at it. It's just a very, it's a very simple model. You know, there's not a whole lot of bells and whistles, just a bit of trim. Um, oh yeah, look at that nib. Look at it like, it's like glittering under that cap. And it's just, it's like just so attractive. Just a beautiful little jemmy, jelly-like thing. Okay, that sounds weird. Anyway, um, very comfortable pen. I find it quite comfortable for my hand. Some people find it very small. The Century is not a giant pen. So if you have very large hands, you might find it too small, but you can post it. So there we go. There's the nib, it's intimate part. But before we talk about the nib, I wanna show you the slip and seal mechanism. So I'm gonna try to do this. So if you see that spring in there, what happens is when you close, close her up, it gets depressed and this is their slip and seal mechanism which is actually tested to keep your nib dr um, not from drying out for two whole years and that's pretty crazy and I can confirm that this is the case and even the intro pens like the preppy have them so I mean it's just a really great mechanism especially if you're someone who doesn't write your pens dry very quickly so there you go. Um, okay, the nib. Now, look at that blob of tipping. Super cute little heart-shaped breather hole. One slit, massive blob of tipping. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. That's hot stuff right there. <laughs> and last but not least, there's a very pretty converter. 
Um, I know the converter is not a huge deal, but I just think it's really, you know, it's just simple and attractive. So, and it holds a very decent amount of ink and it's got a really good seal on the nipple. So you've got a nice solid, reliable pen here. Now let's change her up and take a look at this serious nibbage. Okay, bye. Okie dokie, let's do some writing. Okay, um, we are gonna write <laughs> the name of the pen. I just splattered ink all over myself, by the way. Okay, platinum. And if you wonder why I'm pausing, it's for two things. One, I'm checking to make sure I'm still on the screen. Two, checking to make sure you can actually see what I'm writing. And three, I am double checking my spelling. Because when you're handwriting, talking, and spelling all at the same time, one of those things will go. So we have the Bourgogne with gold trim and um, uh, okay, 14 carat coarse nib. Oh, that did not fit. So this is the double broad and I have used the range of platinum nibs and I have to say all of them are really fun and obviously this is my favorite. Yeah, I might be up there with the music nib. Okay, and here's do a little cute little heart. The, the heart, the ink is very unbiased. The greatest pink ink of all time. Pebe Ackerman's gourmet pens pink. What? Who that? It me. Oh, heart, heart. Okay, now this is a nice round nib. So if you are someone who likes a stubby nib, out of the box, it's not going to be like that. However, because of the shape of this tipping, you can absolutely have this worked on by a nibmeister and they could probably do something really cool for you. So it is a very firm nib. So don't expect if you apply pressure, you're gonna get anything happening. And to be honest, just don't apply pressure. Like you really don't need it. If you want to get something that has a little bit of yield to it, look at Platinum's soft fine nibs. That was supposed to be a flower, but I can't draw and I can't talk and I can't think at the same time. So the drawing went. Okay, and um, if you really want, you can do the reverse writing. I know sometimes people like to have this option because if they want to quickly jot something down, like really fine in their margins or something, they want to be able to do this. So it's not the most pleasant writer, but it's working, right? So it works. However, let me move so you can see that properly. Oh. Ain't that pretty? It's very pretty. So, there you go. Thank you, huge thank you to Pen Chalet for sending this. And thank you as well to Pen Chalet for providing you guys with a discount code. It is GOURMET2020, you get 10% off. And I hope you enjoy. So head over on to penchalet.com, you can browse and I am Aziza signing off from Gourmet Pens Industries. I've had a lot of coffee today. Okay, bye.